Okay, so not everybody has a portable band saw or a porta band. So we're going to do the same process, cutting the O rings apart with a hacksaw. You just want a good tooth profile. And this hacksaw is strung so that we'll only cut on the push stroke. Okay, so there's our handle, there's the forward motion. We're going to put our dominant hand on the push side and our non dominant hand on the pull side and then seat our blade so that we cut only on the push stroke, okay? The hard part is starting your cut so it seats. So generally, I'll start with one ring, and once that seats, it's a good idea to make sure the blade rocks over, tags down on the next ring, And then you're looking for each preceding cut to seat in the remaining ring. Okay, so now we have one, two, three, four, and a slight nick on this, uh, sorry, one, two, three, and five with a slight nick on position four. So we're trying to make sure that it seats on position five until we have a nice uniform trough cutting on positions one through five. And once you have that, you can pretty much set a nice rhythm, add some tunes or music, and just carefully saw through all of them. The nice part about using a hacksaw relative to the porta band is you can feel the resistance the O-rings are giving you before you finish the cut. So when you get to the halfway point, hack sawing is a very smooth process, but as you approach the final point, you'll notice that some of the rings will bind more than others, and that's based on the vise compressing the rings in this direction, right? or the vise compressing the outer barbs of the ring on either side so that they want to move and act as a pinch point. Take it nice and slow. Focus on that push stroke. Use your whole body. Your non-dominant hand should be pulling just as much as your dominant hand is pushing. And as you start to get through each one, you'll feel the release. So we're at probably the halfway point. I'm going to change my angle to get that first pin loose. Okay. At this point, I'm going to unclamp it. So you can see right here, we're nearly through. And on the back side, there's a significantly larger amount of material to be cut through. Okay. So you want to bring it back into full compression in the same fashion that you had before. So if you tag down both straight sections, try to tag those down again. Generally, you do not want to unclamp your work mid-process because it can affect the alignment of your cut. But that's the only way to really show you what's happening in the process.
So as you approach the final cut, you just want to take it nice and slow because this whole thing tends to fall apart all at once. And that's when you'll notice the hacksaw starts to bind. That signature squeak. There goes our first part. We're gonna relieve pressure. All right. So you can see here, we're still attached. This is still pretty strong. You can break it loose, but I recommend finishing the cut. And then in the beginning, still loose. Right, I could break these open if I needed to, but if you finish the cut, it'll be cleaner and that'll save you more work on the next step. So what I'm gonna do is switch positions so that I'm clamping the outside of the ring Because what I want is to make sure that this bar clears the vise, but I can finish my cut. So you want to have your cut clamped firmly so that you can get in there with your blade, reseat it, and then you should have your rings captured on your blade. Like so. And that'll give you a nice clean set of O-rings the same way you had with the portaband.